James chapter 1, verses 2 through 8 say, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. And just to pause there for a moment, I appreciate James telling us that trials come in many kinds. And it kind of feels like that's what we're going through right now. If it's not a pandemic, it is a social unrest. Um, and then, you know, we're having more hurricanes and we usually do our, our named storms than we usually do this time of year. And I've seen some smoke from fire and that it just seems like everything's kind of crazy right now. Uh, verse three, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, <clears throat> he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. The man should not think he, that man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double-minded, he is a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. I, that passage just kind of came to me because uh, right now what we need is some perseverance, and the Bible says that uh, pers perseverance can finish its work, and we will be mature, and that is maturity uh, in the Lord is something that we all need, and unfortunately sometimes the road to that is through trials of various kinds, many different kinds, and um, and so right now God's doing a work in us, and uh, the best thing we can do is to uh, when we lack wisdom to ask him and just uh, go along with the plan because the end result is that we are mature not lacking anything. I think that our drive-in services have been good and uh, we're looking probably to move back into the sanctuary with appropriate precautions on uh, the 28th of June hopefully that's I'm not writing that in cement but uh, that's what we're we're shooting for at this point. Uh, and I know that everybody, many people are in different places and their feelings about everything right now. So just uh, know that uh, we are committed to having the online services um, for the foreseeable future so that everybody has a chance to hear the word of God. And uh, we would do whatever it takes to, uh, for, for you to, to be a part of our services. Uh, Wednesdays are also still happening. Uh, they're on uh, available by Zoom. Let me know if you'd like to take part in those and I'll get you the information for that. Uh, right now on Sunday mornings, we're not really going through a book or a series. Uh, one of the hardest things I think as a pastor is just every week to seek God and say, God, what do you want to say this week? And yet that just kind of seems like we're a good place to be right now, uh, seeing what he has. And this week, uh, we're going to look at a message called Calling All Disciples from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And uh, Jesus said in Matthew, just before he went to heaven, make disciples of all nations. And it takes disciples to make disciples. And I think there are a lot of really good lessons from the Jesus' first call of his disciples. So if you want to be ready uh, for Sunday, read Luke 5, 1 through 11. Um, I pray that you're having a good week, and God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday.